I'm a survivor of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Two weeks ago, I celebrated my 107th birthday. Today, I'm visiting Washington, D.C. for the first time in my life. I'm here seeking justice, and I'm asking my country to acknowledge what happened in Tulsa in 1921. Because of the massacre, my family was driven out of our homes. We were left with nothing. We were made refuge in our own country. On May 31st and 21, I went to bed at my family's home in Greenwood. Neighbors of Tulsa, the neighborhood I felt asleep in that night was rich, not just in terms of wealth, but in culture, community, heritage. I had friends to play with. I felt safe. I had everything a child could need. I had a bright future ahead of me. Within a few hours, all of that was gone. I will never forget the violence of the white mob when we left our home. I still see black men seen being shot, black bodies lying in the street. I still smell smoke and see fire. I still see black businesses being burned. I still hear airplanes flying overhead. I hear the screams. I have lived through the massacre every day. Our country may forget this history, but I cannot. We were shown that in the United States, not all men were equal under law. We were shown that when black boys is called out for justice, no one cared. No one cared about us for almost 100 years. We and our history have been forgotten, washed away. This Congress must recognize us and our history. For black America, for the white Americans, and for all Americans. Please do not let me leave this earth without. Yes, like all the others, massacre survivors 